Hello everyone, with this video I would like to give you an overview of Stable Diffusion of all of the interfaces we can use for running it, the requirements, and this is mainly for Mac users, and also alternative solutions for running it not just locally but also remotely. Stable Diffusion is an AI model to generate images and so videos as well from a text description. So unless we are very good with coding, how can we interact with this platform? There are some interfaces we can use. The most famous is Automatic 11.11, but there are also others like Invoke AI, for example, or ConfUI. Automatic 11.11 is my favorite. It's super user-friendly and you have a lot of tools for generating different images, customize them in painting or painting. You can generate videos, but what's best is that you can also customize the interface. It's continuously up to date, meaning that there are people developing it and a lot of people generating extensions for it. So uh, a lot of things coming up <laughs> almost every day. It's very difficult to <laughs> keep up with that, but uh, it's uh, honestly, it's, it's very cool. Another one is Invoke AI. It's very, very similar to Automatic 11.11, but you have less tools for customizing your image. The interface is user-friendly as well, so you don't really need experience for running it. ConfUI is the last one I want to talk about. It's super cool as well. It's less user-friendly, I would say, but just initially. Just initially because you need to know how Stable Diffusion works. All of these three interfaces can be run mm. locally or remotely. If you want to run them locally, you need to have some software requirements, very important. We'll talk about this in a minute. But you also need to deal with coding because in order to install them on your computer, you need to open your terminal and you need to write some codes on your terminal in order to run it. It's usually quite easy because you just need to run requirements and then you need to install, mainly for Windows, but sometimes can be a little bit more difficult because you can have different requirements uh, on, depending on your computer and you can end up having some issues when running it. Now, talking about requirements, Stable Diffusion requires at least six giga of VRAM. Although eight gigabytes are recommended if you want a better performance and mainly if you are generating big images or long videos. NVIDIA GPUs meet this requirement and actually exceed them. And this is what makes the difference between having a Windows computer and a Mac. Apple's Mac system and mainly the newer models with M1 and M2 chips integrator do not support NVIDIA GPUs. And this lack of support for NVIDIA GPU can be a limitation for Mac users. So I'm not saying that they cannot run Stable Diffusion. I actually have an M1 and I can run it, but it's extremely low performing. It's very slow. It takes ages before generating an image. It's probably better if you have a more powerful Mac, but Still, it's not the best. It's not as good as having a Windows. However, there are some workarounds in order to run Stable Diffusion from any computer, even the least powerful. So let me give you these two alternatives. The first one is to use cloud-based platforms that provide users with virtual environment. And these are Colab, Rampot, Paper Space, and there are many others, I'm sure, but I'm gonna mention just the most famous one. Running Automatic 11.11 with Google Colab used to be free, right? And this was, I think, up to March 2023 or something like that. It was amazing. So I was running actually like with my Mac Colab, Stable Diffusion on Colab for free. However, mm -hmm. since then, we need to upgrade to Colab Pro to be able to run Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 on Google Colab. The monthly fee is around $10 or something like that, and Colab Pro offers better GPUs and 100 compute units per month. Instead of Automatic 11.11, you can also run the Invoke AI interface on Google Colab and also ConfUI. And I can tell you that these two are free to run, so you don't have to pay anything. However, with Google Colab, there are some issues sometimes because I had cases where my connection was breaking all of the sudden, so I was losing all the things I was doing. And I noticed that this happens quite often with Google Colab. Oh, actually, another downside is that 
uh, you, every time you want to use Colab, you need to rerun the full code. If you prefer not paying a monthly subscription, but you want to pay as you go, you can try RunPod instead. RunPod offers GPU-powered virtual machines, and it's it's actually quite good. And as for a Google Colab, you have uh, templates already for running Stable Diffusion, so you just need to run the code. So which one would you choose? Well, it depends on what you need and how much you're going to use Stable Diffusion. I find RunPod a little bit more um, reliable usually. Then the second option, if you don't like coding and you don't want to deal with these uh, connection issues, you can go for cloud-based platform instead. In this case, you don't have to do anything with coding. You just need to sign up, log in, and then press the run button for running stable diffusion. There are different platforms available. So you have the most famous Run Diffusion, Diffusion Hub, and Think Diffusion as well. Let's have a quick look at the pricing together. This is Run Diffusion, and you can see that they have three different plans. You have the pay as you go, which is $0.50 per hour. And then you have the professional plan where you pay a monthly service and then business and enterprise. If we scroll down, you can see the different features that you can, uh, you can have. And then you can see that you can use Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion Excel, and depending on what you need, depending on what you want, you can pay different amounts and get different uh, speed or different, uh, different resolution as well. This is Diffusion Hub. Also in this case, you have uh, pay as you go. And then in this case, you don't just have automatic 1111, but you also have Koya and Confui. Once you launch the platform, it's exactly the same as automatic 1111, you run locally. With the difference that you're not running it locally, but remotely. And so you don't have to code anything. You don't have connection issues. And I know that they were working on a subscription, monthly subscription, uh, but I see here that you can choose different plans. You have basic, premium, and ultimate, and you can insert a referral code if you want. Actually, if you wanna try this, I have a referral code you can use. It's down in the description. The last one I wanna show you is Think Diffusion. This is their website, and as you can see, they don't just have Automatic 11.11 and Confui, they also have Fogus, Invoked, and Koya. So also in this case, you can choose different, you know, GPU requirements and VRAM. So this is the Turbo one, it's uh, the one with highest VRAM and highest GPU, but you can also go for a cheaper option. But you can just run Stable Diffusion 1.5, while with this other one you can run also Stable Diffusion Excel and Control Net, which obviously makes the difference when you're working on something more professional. I think the same uh, it's for all of the others. Uh, yeah, you have different options for, for all of them. So that's it for today. I just wanted to you know, explain why Mac users see this very low performance when running Stable Diffusion locally. And that's why I wanted to give you alternatives for running it and being able to generate images faster and um, more efficiently. So I hope this was uh, useful. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.